So I did the timber and now I'm doing the plaster. Off comes the tape. And these are nice and solid as they are. Now this is Durham's Rock Hard. I used this for the Emanita Cottage ceiling on the second floor bedroom and it is wonderful. It is like $2.60 for a container of this. All you have to do is add water and yeah, it's rock hard as it promises, um, innuendo and all. So you're just gonna take a little bit like it's like pancake mix, throw in a little water. Don't throw in too much or you'll end up with this. You don't want that kind of consistency. You want something that's a little closer to peanut butter. Um, it does set fairly quickly, so you need to work efficiently with it. You don't have hours and hours here. You have maybe, I don't know, an hour um, tops to work with it before it really starts to set. So this is the consistency I'm looking for. That's perfect. And I'm going to just start using my fingers. It is non-toxic, so um, I just use my hands to apply it. And uh, I'm putting it on fairly roughly. It's still very wet and still kind of loose, like a thicker cake batter mix or something. And I am just applying it um, into the spaces between the timbers. I'm being a little messy, but I will scrape off any of the stuff from the timbers. The branches, as you say, the little branches that I pulled from my yard. Everything's pulled from my yard. The cedar, the bent piece, I pulled at the beginning of this project, way back I think in May or June, and set it up to dry in that shape. And then once it was dry and set, I was able to use it for these little bay windows. So in goes the putty. This stuff is amazing and it's going to add so much structural strength just to these little windows. Um, it is crazy how strong this stuff is. Uh, and once you apply it, it's basically the texture and feel of wood. So in it goes, doesn't have any smell, nothing toxic smelling about it. It's just a really easy pro product to work with. If you want to do stucco or even you can um, texture it when it sets a little bit more, you can use crumpled up tin foil to make it look like rock by dabbing it with the crumpled up tin foil to put the texture on the surface of this product. Um, it holds its shape pretty well once it starts to set and you can mold it pretty well. So right now I'm just using a stick to kind of scrape off the, uh, you know, the large amounts of excess on the timbers. And I'm gonna set it aside once I'm done with this and let it dry for a little bit because I want it to be a little more set when I start to work on it again. And here is the ground floor bay window. I am adding that in here. This is a more traditional looking Tudor bay. Um, I still wanted that organic bent wood look on the bottom floor so that they would coordinate, both of them would coordinate. So there you go. I've got that filled in. I'm going to scrape off the excess. As you can see, there you go. And I've been working on with this probably about 20 minutes, maybe, um, if you, you know, go with normal time, this is all sped up, but I am just scraping it off it starts to get a little thicker but once again this is at Durham, Durham's Rock Hard Water Putty it stays put it won't shrink as it says what's great too is you can use it to cast you can use it for casting molds you can use it to fill knots fill holes and fix your wood and uh, it can be stained too so now I'm using some clay tools to kind of do a finer job of scraping up and shaping the edges here and scraping off all the extra material that got onto the timbers. I'm going to stain these timbers really, really dark. And, um, and this is going to be painted a pale, uh, maybe like a creamy white, not bright white, but a creamy white. And of course they'll be weathering and maybe I'll put a little algae molds on it. Um, just to kind of show that it's aged. I might even put a few vines or maybe a, a, a ivy, I don't know. But it's starting to set and get a little harder. And so I'm using that opportunity to kind of pat the top and flatten this, the surface a little bit. Because this is a stage where, the best stage where you can really shape and refine this stuff. It's 
it's really nice and I'm scraping all of this off here and the wood is wet it looks like it's stained but it's not and here I'm scraping the edges I have a lot of good clay tools so I also have dental tools that I got at Harbor Freight and those are really useful as well there you go and I'm cleaning up edges cleaning up surfaces pat 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 see how I kind of rub it smooth see that and then there you go and if it's not perfect you can always add another smaller layer on top when you're done I want a little bit of texture on there because it's supposed to look like plaster that was you know put on there with a trowel and uh, so I want a little bit of texture so here you go scrape 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 and you'll be surprised how clean these little timbers come out once it starts to dry you'll really see and what I'm doing here is, is I have I hate balsa wood but it was the only and I'm air quoting one by six that I had so I used it as these cross beams and it looked too plain so I'm adding some wood grain onto there um, it's easy to do because the balsa wood is very soft so I'm just adding this texture in there using this tool and kind of putting in long and long lines and some eyes and stuff like that and I'm scraping some more off here and uh, when I when I stain that those will collect more stain and add to the texture and make it look like real wood well it is real wood but a big piece of weathered wood so I've pushed all the stuff down I'm filling in some last little places here and there and shaping and cutting and it's starting to look good but you're not going to really see the definition until this starts to dry it dries a little bit darker than what it is now and I'm also adding the texture to this bottom beam I love these projects that are super satisfying this one is definitely super satisfying okay I'm missing it any more texture and then there you go this is just before they start to dry and here it is it's coming up now oh I can scratch off at this point still scratch off parts that are problematic but yeah so it's gonna dry for a few more minutes oops they're heavy and there you go I still need to do the sides and add some more timber but so far so good